Home inspection tips for buyers. That's what we're talking about today, so don't go anywhere. Hi. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Krasuski. I'm a real estate agent with the Green Team Home Selling System in beautiful Warwick, New York. And on this channel, we talk about all things real estate and the Hudson Valley. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So you found your dream home, you've put an offer in, and it was accepted. Congratulations. Now you need to hire a home inspector. Your realtor should be able to give you several names and numbers of qualified home inspectors. If you decide to call someone on your own, just make sure that home inspector is licensed, is performing a general home inspection along with septic and well, if applicable, as well as wood destroying insects. And if you live in an area like the Hudson Valley, radon is big here. So you need to have that tested as well. Now the average home inspection is about three to three and a half hours on say a 2,500 square foot home. And you as the buyer are going to become your home inspector's shadow. That's right. You are going to follow this home inspector everywhere and you are going to listen to everything he or she has to say. Now they're going to go over a lot of information about the home and this is especially useful if you're a first time home buyer. Let's say you've never owned a home before and the home inspector's like, and here's your water softener system. And you're thinking, uh, what do I need a water softener for? Well, in the Hudson Valley, especially where I am, I have a well. So we have very hard water. Your water softener system is actually not for you. It's to keep your pipes from rusting and corroding. So you need to add salt to it every so often and check it. And the home inspector will go over those details with you. The home inspector will also point out things like, well, there's some cracks in the driveway. They may need to be resealed within the year. That's not necessarily things for the seller to take care of. That's just more knowledge for you as the future homeowner of things that you will have to take care of in a certain time frame. So the home inspector is going to give you like a 60 page report. You heard me right, because it comes with photos of everything. Um, and that is going to explain all the things that are going on with the house, but they'll have a summary page of what they consider major and minor. And actually why you're following the round, them around, when they point something out, say, is this something major or minor? So you can put yourself at ease. But that report will come with that one summary page, and then you discuss that with your realtor. And I always like to tell my buyers, think in terms of safety. Is everything okay with the electric, with the plumbing? We wanna make sure the house isn't ready to fall down. Things of that nature. So you wanna think in terms of safety. Unless you're buying new construction, there is always gonna be something that comes up. So you just wanna be prepared for that. And again, those are the things you're gonna discuss with your realtor and decide if you need to go back to the negotiation table or not. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've bought a house and anything that you found crazy on a home inspection. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks and have an amazing day.